Hello, this is Telecom TV reporting from Mobile World Congress 2016 here in Barcelona in Spain. We're in a very noisy Hall 3 and I'm talking with Jeff Hollingsworth who is the Head of Cloud Product Marketing at Ericsson. Good Jeff, to see you, Martin. I'm going to talk to you two, two Yorkshiremen together. It couldn't go wrong, could it? <laughs> How um, could that possibly be bad? Exactly. Ericsson's a leading contributor to the creation of the integrated society. What additional strengths and benefits then flow from partnering in areas of cloud and virtualization? Well, I love the way that you say it's the integrated society. It's actually the networked society. No, that's good though, because it's networked and integrated. I, we might take your line there. All right, uh, okay. Kind of. So we, we see some pretty big changes happening. I think we all see them. We're all living them, actually, in the way that we wear watches that are connected, cars are getting connected, cars drive on their own. And obviously, all of those devices are dependent on an IT infrastructure that's in the background. Sure. We need to really make sure that IT infrastructure is, is well made, very industrialized. The term that we always call is, is industrialized infrastructure. So we work regularly with leaders in different spaces, such as VMware, uh, and collaborate to put those systems together to simplify it for people. Because the things that work well are simple things. And if you've noticed, all of the technology is getting more complicated. So we like VMware, because VMware, where they are present in organizations, people are familiar with them, they trust them, the operational side is understood. And then we can accelerate the adoption of these new technologies with, with what we do well. Ericsson is involved in many projects at the moment. What are the main challenges you're seeing now, you know, as things change, transformation continues, cloudification's everywhere, all IP systems, NFV, SDN, etc. I think let's start just with the challenges that every single business faces on the planet now. That they're looking forward and they realize that there's a whole new competitive landscape developing. And there's a new, the new breed of competitors do have software and their digital infrastructure at the heart of their business. It's not a support function, it's at the heart of the business. So obviously, you need to approach that infrastructure a completely different way. You need to industrialize it. Now, one of the reasons that Ericsson is actually picking up on cloud and accelerating it much faster now is that we've always taken great ideas and done that industrialization, scaled them, and put them into every country in the world. In your experience, why do you recommend or why do your customers decide to select VMware for their NFV deployment? So VMware has a massive amount of deployments in businesses today. And those businesses then are familiar with how the VMware platforms work, they're trusted, and they can operate them. So when we go into a scenario like that, it's very easy for us to help ourselves, VMware and the customer, accelerate their existing assets, but really start to industrialize and, and scale them to that, that connected network society world. Because no business is going to run the same. And the only businesses that run the same are the ones that are going to struggle. Can you give some examples of where Ericsson and VMware have worked together? And are these POCs proof of concepts or commercial deployment? So we turn up everywhere, just about in every country, there's VMware and there's Ericsson, which is why we, work, we like working with, with leaders like VMware. Uh, so Italy, Germany, Sweden, I mean, we, we can roll those off. How do you see service providers, communication service providers, and the network society developing, given the technologies that are now coming to the fore, over the next 12 months or so? So over the next 12 months, I think we're in this very interesting point of time where, where people are learning. And what we actually see is that, that when you learn and you get it right, you do this very quick hockey stick. And if a competitor turns up when they're just getting to that hockey stick, they will run through kind of all of your business. It's very hard at that point to react because just the exponential scale of this hyperscale infrastructure that we're putting out, which is completely software defined, by the way, which is why suddenly it moves very quickly. Everything is programmable. 
if you're not ready when that curve comes in, it's like the raptors have walked in your front door and they're going to eat your family. <laughs> and and it, it's a brutal thing to experience. Yeah. So, so what we recommend to all our customers and partners is let's get on that journey quickly and let's do it in a way that industrializes it. So it becomes predictable, we de-risk it, and then we can focus on doing things differently for people like me and you. We're here, Jeff, at Mobile World Congress 2016. It's bigger than ever before. What have you seen here at the show, the little amount you've been able to see? Well, there's always a theme every year. There's always something that seems to come out of it. Have you seen anything that particularly catches your eye? This is 5G for real. This is the start of that industrialization. And there's, there's a great, I, I have to say this, there's a great uh, demonstration with South Korea Telecom, who their CTO, Alex Choi, is really taking a leadership position in saying we're going to have one software-defined infrastructure that drives platforms. And there's a demonstration down there where they actually have live network slicing, where one is, one is doing machine traffic, one is doing massive video download and one is doing everything else and all of them are running as if they're running on completely independent infrastructures so I recommend anyone that's here go down and, and see see this demonstration and we start to see a future where where Martin the, the network you're on is going to be the network of one it's going to be different from my network and it's going to meet your needs before you know you have them very interesting Jeff Hollingsworth thanks very much thank you very much